Hey logo is this is Ainge Taino from Sniper X for Empire. It's here another opportunity for us to learn the sniper way of trading, right? So before we get into the lesson, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe the channel, right? Also remember to leave a comment in the comment section below. Today's lesson is simply a continuation. Uh, from where we left from right so we're going to be discussing about what we call premium and discount zone right so our corrective moves are going to be divided into two sections which is a premium zone and a discount zone right so say we are in a downtrend like this right price is moving in a downtrend like this right and we get this impulse move so the impulse move on the impulse move we are going to create these uh, two zones the premium zone and the discount zone right so these zones will divide our corrective move right remember i once said that our corrective moves should be at least 50 percent of the what of the previous impulse move so when our price reaches 50 percent of the impulse move we start or we expect to get a continuation pattern or we could we expect to get our trade what and is in a downtrend like this right so our price should move at least into 50 percent of the previous impulse move then we look for what for sell trades so this upper 50 percent zone in a sell trend is what we call a premium zone right that's the best price or those are the best regions where we can take our sell trade so we are saying you look for your trade entries you're going to look to the left that look left principle you look for your supply zones that is you identify or you locate the order blocks that you can use once price gets to that 50 percent zone right so after you get your entries you expect your price to what to drop so price might actually drop into the discount zone. So the moment price gets into the discount zone, if you are in a downtrend, you don't take any sell trades. But if you are given an opportunity of a small retracement back into the premium zone, then you can look for other sell entries whilst price is still in that what premium zone, right? But the moment it moves off that zone, we don't take any trades, right? So we're going to be selling only in premium zones, right? So that's a premium region when we are in a what? When we are in a downtrend right so we're going to take ourselves in premium zone right then for the buy trades we're going to be buying only when price is at a discounted price when we are in a what in a discount zone say we are in an uptrend like this we get an impulse like that right we get a corrective move right we get a corrective move like that we get another impulse move like that so when you get that impulse move we expect price to correct at least to 50 percent of that what impulse move when price gets to the 50 percent then price will be moving into the discounted prices right so the moment price gets to that we'll be looking to our left we identify our supply and demand zone so these are the best zones to look for supply and demand or to look for order blocks so if you are in an uptrend we are going to look for order blocks that appear in the discounted price or in the discount region then we are going to be taking our buys from that region and we can add entries so long as price is still in the discounted uh, region but the moment price move out of the discounted regions we are not going to take any trades anymore right so what we are saying here we are going to look for order blocks that are going to be appearing in the discount zone for a what for an uptrend right so let's go to the chart and try to identify some live examples that we can actually uh, use for this concept right so to use this concept you can use either the fibonacci tool or you can use the gun chart so if you're on trading view i'm going to illustrate with just a gun chart right so it's preset so I'll just lose it like that right but if you're on metatrader 5 metatrader 4 you can just use the fibonacci or just a rectangle i'll illustrate that with a few examples right so this is gpp usd it was a down it was in a downtrend clearly right and currently we can uh, see that uh, price actually um broke uh the previous low there we had a bms there so seeing that bms we expect price to continue in a downtrend right so we want to map a setup we want to come up with a setup right where we can expect ourselves we can't just sell at this zone because it's a supply zone but it's a weak supply zone because of where it is right can we actually sell this zone that zone or that zone so let's try to look at it uh using this concept that we have just 
explained here right so if you just take your gun chart if you come on these tools you see a gun box right you can uh, edit the, the 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 settings on it so that you just have two regions right so you can draw it from the very top where the impulse move actually started from right then it broke this a uh, very low up to the end of this move then you leave it like that right so it will show you two regions right the lower region being the discount zone the upper region being the premium zone so we're going to be selling only in the premium zone so in the premium zones we are going to identify the order blocks that are lying there right at the extreme zone where you get the best uh, sell trades right that's the best zone you can actually get your sell trades right this extreme order block right creates the extreme uh, supply zone right if you look a uh, slightly low you can also identify this region there is also another order block right that you can also use um to take your what to take your trades right so at the midpoint 50 percent you can also consider it but it's not so good for my trades i expect to take trades that are actually right in the zone in the what in the premium zone right so for this very setup i will expect to take sell trades either from this zone or from the upper what order block so what is going to happen is when price retraces back into these regions i will look closely at what price is going to do when it gets into the very what order block right so other traders can also consider the 50 percent because we have a supply zone that is actually lying there but like i said uh, it's a risky trades why because if you look at your risk reward ratio we'll talk about that your risk reward ratio is going to be very very big because if you're going to be selling here the best stop loss that you can actually use has to lie at the very top there so the risk reward ratio will not be good it might be one is to one is to one right which is not so favorable right so this is how you'll be using your what your gun to on trading view but many traders they'll be trading on mt4 and mt5 mostly on tariff platforms so let's go to metatrader 5 and just uh do some analysis analysis there right so this is a uh, volatility 50 v50 right if you look at the structure that we have here i had already mapped uh with the bms with the bms there so so it tells us that we are in a downtrend right so let's actually look at how we'll actually join into this trade at this very point right so you can use two easy tools here you can use the fibonacci let me start with the fibonacci so if you take your fibonacci from that zone you go to the lowest point where price reach right? remember this is an impulse move you get to that low you stretch all the way to the very high where the impulse move started remember when you're plotting this we take from the bodies of the candlestick where they started to where they ended right so if you look at it it's going to show you level 78 six was my eight fifty percent right so we're going to take trades that are going to be in this region from fifty percent all the way to zero there right or above those weeks like that right so this zone will be our what will be our premium zone that's where we expect to take our trades so in this very scenario we can see we can clearly see that price came right into this a uh, very order block that's the order block that they what that they decided to respect right so it retraced back into this what into this premium zone and in the premium zone it found a very uh, strong supply zone where they reacted from and bounced going down so this is how we use it on such a scenario in a trending market right so let's look at another example we have a uh, crash 1000 there so if you look at crash 1000 again there was a trend violation price breaking the previous laws we suggest that a downtrend is now kicking in so what you are going to do here i'm not going to use a fibonacci i can just use a rectangle because the rectangle will show you the midpoint so our impulse move ended there and it actually started right from the top right so it started from that high before breaking the previous low right so this midpoint this mid uh, point that dot it shows you the midpoint of that rectangle meaning that the upper zone is going to be a premium the lower zone your discount so i will look to my left to my left i try to identify the order blocks that creates my supply and demand zone the best and the first is the extreme one there is an order block right there so price might actually come into that zone and we might sell in that region so look at price once it gets to that region right but before that there is also this order block that is in the what in the premium zone we can use this order block so we'll investigate we we'll investigate sorry as price gets into that region right does price react to it is it rejecting that zone there is also this small order block so currently where we are in we have to look at smaller time frames we try to see 
if they are reversal patterns of smaller time frames so that we can sell right so we either sell in this zone in that zone or in that upper region so once price gets into our supply zones or the order blocks we do a further analysis on shorter time frames to tell whether we're going to uh, slide down whether we're going to get a reversal there we don't just sell as price gets into the order block we do further analysis after that Last so the last example is on V50S, a trade that I have actually taken uh, a few hours ago, I think two hours ago, three hours ago, right? And it's actually moving like this, right? So we are trained violation. If you haven't learned or mastered this concept, I explained it in the previous videos that we have on this channel. Go back and try to learn the concept, the reversals, right? So I saw that we had a trend violation here. I'm getting a BMS. We were in an uptrend like that. The previous low, right, that created that high, it was broken, right? So the order block that caused that is this last order block. So after that, what is it that we do? Here, I'll use a Fibonacci again, right? So we go to the very lowest point. Then we extend it to where it started like that, right? I try to identify my 50%. So my 50% is right there. So the region above 50% is my zone of interest. So these zones or these regions are called zone of interest. That's where we expect to get our trades, right? So the moment price into the moment price gets into that region, we don't just sell because of that, right? We we'll try to identify the order blocks in that region within that region the order blocks that lie in that region they have a high probability or a high probability of winning right so this very order block is the one that i actually used when price entered into this order block i started my further investigations right we'll learn about that we have a whole lot of things that we'll talk about with liquidity engineering right we have imbalance right then we also consider stop ants right price should create liquidity zones before a setup uh works out so here price was li engineering liquidity then moved into the extreme order block that we had there and we can see our price is actually dropping right so my expectation zone i expect my price to actually drop to this very low where the corrective move actually started from right so this is uh, an example on what on v50s and is actually running right so thank you guys hope you have learned something hope you have picked something from this lesson hope to see you in the next lecture right if you haven't subscribed remember to subscribe and like your channel thank you guys